Hey everybody, on today's model building workshop, we're going to look at this interesting armored car. This is the BA-64 Russian armored car from the World War II era. Now, according to Wikipedia, <laughs> the BA-64 is a four-wheeled armored car. It's built on the chassis of a Gaz-64 or Gaz-67 Jeep. And it was built in 1941 to replace the BA-20 armored cars that were in service at the time. It was cheap and very reliable, and about 9,000 of them were built during the war. So this kit, if you can look at the box on that, a lot to look at there. You can see some of the fun stuff on the sides there and some of the other kits offered. So this is from AER Models out of Moldova. This is kind of a 1990s era, I'm assuming. Kind of post-Cold War uh, model kit. We're going to take a look at some of the parts here. Typical one page <laughs> assembly sheet here. Just some rudimentary blow ups. And we'll see how this goes together because I don't know. <laughs> so here's the parts on the sprue. I'll give you a close up in just a second on these. And the molding is mediocre, it's not terrible. But I'm not going to say it's good either. So I'm curious what can be made out of this. And it has a pretty extensive decal sheet, which I hope still works because it's got a lot on there. I'm trying to get in close there. Some of this stuff you're not going to see because the white on the white paper is very difficult. Although I can give you an idea of what some of this looks like in a Steve Zaloga book over here. Yeah, which has great stuff. This is the Eastern Front. Oh, and camouflage and markings from 41 to 45. So for a long time, this is one of my uh, top books. It's so actually still is. Steve Zaloga and James Granson. From Squadron Signal Publications. What year was this from? This was a while ago. 1983. And what's nice about this is it breaks into different sections. By some of the different combatants. So you get the unit modules of the Germans here. And there's some for the Soviet forces as well. So for example, there's a BA-64 down the oops, down the bottom here. And the decals are actually included for that version and this decal sheet here. So they obviously looked at you know, probably looked at this book when they were putting this model kit together because a lot of the uh, examples that are in this book are in that decal sheet. So, so that's kind of cool. You can do that one there at the bottom here. And I think it's got some other. Yeah, I can find it. Here's the Soviet markings. So to break down what they are. And some of those are represented also on that decal sheet. So this is kind of handy to have. So give me a moment and we can take a close up look at some of these parts here. 